So for HANA, SAP came up with the flexible workflow where most of the configurations are eliminated. Okay, so if you see the new workflow, you will find out like it is very simple to maintain rather than configuring the release codes, release groups, releasing strategies. There are a lot of things here, right? So now with the new workflow in place, first of all, if you want to use the new workflow, as I told you, there are two, three things that you need to set up from the system to activate that. So you'll go to materials management. Okay, within materials management, you will go to purchasing. Within purchasing, you will obviously go to purchase order. And in purchase order, you will go to flexible workflow for purchase order. Okay, and here you will first activate the scenarios. As I told you, this scenario you need to remember. Okay, WS800238. Note down this because this is very important. You have to tick on this indicator first of all. If you don't tick, what will happen? If you don't tick, you will not be able to do the further processing. So, for example, all your new PO based uh, flexible workflow is totally dependent on Fiori. And as I told you in Fiori, this is an app which will allow you to set up the workflow, manage workflow for purchase orders. If I click on this, definitely you need to log in here before you are able to use it. Okay, you will be able to see like this. There are currently no scenarios available. Okay, it is not allowing you to perform any configuration without ticking this indicator. So when you activate this scenario, then only system will allow you to configure your purchase order based PO flexible workflow. So now once I activated that scenario and if I refresh it, you can see I'm not getting that message. Okay, so I'm able to configure the new flexible workflow from this screen. Okay, where you will be able to find it, you will be able to find it under the purchasing configuration group. You can see purchasing configuration. Under the purchasing configuration, you would be able to see manage the workflows for purchase orders. Okay, and here you need to activate whichever you want. So I'll show you how exactly to configure this. This was the first thing that you need to do. Second thing, you have to activate the flexible workflow for different document types. So if I want to activate for document type NB, which is my normal purchase order, you have to activate this scenario from here. This is the second activity that you need to do. All the subsequent activities, you will be able to do it using Fiori. So what will happen in Fiori is, you can see these are the different workflows. And you can see many of them are activated already. So let me show you one. This is the one which I created yesterday for the testing purpose. You can see workflow for RECH for order values more than 5000, just for example. Okay, now once you activated this, whatever you configured in the releasing strategy, that will not get triggered. Okay, it will not create any confusion. Those things, whatever we are configured till now, which are appearing in our purchase orders, they will not be triggered at all in our new setup now. Okay, because now the new workflow is activated. Okay, so in this one, what I'm doing is, you can see this one is already created. If you want to create a new, you can click on the add button. Okay, click on add. I'll just show you how exactly it is configured. So let's say this is a, uh, let's say new workflow for RC01, which is our purchasing organization for orders less than 5K. Okay, whatever description you want to provide, just provide the description. Validity, valid from, valid to, so you can say this is valid from this date and valid to whatever date you want. So let's say 31st, 12, 9999. Now you are entering the conditions here itself. So there is no need to create the characteristics. There is no need to create a class. You can directly specify whatever are your conditions, when exactly this workflow should be triggered. So here there are a lot of fields which are provided by SAP. So for example, 
purchasing organization of the purchase order is in our case it is rc01 okay if you want more conditions i want the value total net amount of purchase order is less than equal to or total amount purchase order is greater than equal to greater than equal to so less than equal to i'll say if the amount is less than 5000 inr then this workflow should be triggered okay so conditions i am directly able to enter here itself okay still go down it will tell you what needs to be done whenever this condition is true what needs to be done so i'll click on edit or sorry add and this is where you would be able to tell the system what should be done so whether you want the system to automatically release the purchase order okay if you if you want that if the order is less than 5000 i want to automatically release the purchase order or you can tell the system that release of purchase order is required who will release it so here you will be able to tell the role okay role means you know uh, again the security activity in the role they will mention that who is assigned who are the different users assigned to this role and if you you can see agent determination by the body so this is a little bit technical activity where you need to tell your security consultant that create a role in which i want all my purchasing managers to be assigned okay and any you can see one of the recipient from that role can be able to approve or you want all the recipients to uh, approve it one by one right in my example what i'm doing is instead of role i can say user so if this is true if the value of this order is less than 5000 then the release of purchase order can be done by the user and i can enter the user id here for example i can write gaurav 123 whatever our user ids are okay so someone from you uh, gaurav 10 i'm not sure who is that so he will be getting the approval notification okay obviously there are a lot of setups required in order to from the technical side before these approvals are triggered to your user id okay there are some security related my inbox application which is available from sap i'll show you in that my inbox sap uh, in that particular app you will be getting the notifications whenever any purchase order is created and if it is awaiting your approval not only purchase orders uh, this flexible workflow is available in almost all the different places where the workflow is required so even if you are a manager and your employees are requesting for the leave that also will come to you as an inbox and you will be able to approve or reject it if you are a bank manager uh, whenever a new bank is created by any user and if it requires the approval before it can be used so even for each and every bank creation the user will get the notifications in his inbox okay so i'm saying that the user will get this notification and he has to approve it before it goes to the next step so these are my recipients if there are any further criteria if you want to provide that perform this step only a particular condition is met then you can specify here if there are any deadlines okay which means the approver is getting the notification and he is also getting the notification that uh, please approve this within a within two days or within three days even that can also be done by setting up the configuration and finally the exception handling so for example if purchase order is rejected then what should happen though the system will automatically cancel the workflow okay these are the standard settings we don't need to worry about this but only thing is what is important for us is we need to tell the system what are our preconditions we need to tell the system who is the recipient of the workflow and once you add this now what will happen is anytime when you create a sales or sorry purchase order system will if the flexible workflow is activated for that particular document type then system will come to this step and it will activate the workflow and what will happen in the workflow is uh, first let me save it okay so now we have set up the workflow but you can see there are multiple workflows which are available here okay you can see there are four workflows which are available here now the question is which one would be triggered first which one would be triggered second because what is going to happen is uh, there can be multiple workflows created for the same uh, parameters 
so in that case if you want your workflow should be triggered first and then the subsequent workflows you have to determine the steps you have to determine the sequence in which this workflow should be uh, triggered so for example i want my workflow this workflow to trigger first so i can go here and i can tell the system that please consider this workflow on top so you can see workflow for rc01 for order less than 5k would be triggered first but still it is in the draft status if it is in the draft status it is not active if you want to activate it you have to click on activate okay now what will happen is when you create a purchase order and if that purchase order is fulfilling this condition then this workflow will be triggered just take an example if they, see there are two things here let's assume i have created a workflow if the value is less than 5000 then it will go to one set of approvers okay let's assume it is going to the purchasing managers only if the value of this order is more than 5000 and even we can keep the conditions 5000 10000 50000 whatever we want so here if the value is more than 5000 we want three level of approvals so those three level of approvals how it can be configured is you have to specify that three level of approvals under the role okay so which are those three approvers that you need to tell the system under the role itself okay so in this case there is one recipient that is the reason his id is appearing here but if there are multiple approvers then you have to create that role and only after that role is created then only the users will start getting the notifications okay so in this particular case let me try to create one more po and see this time are we able to release the purchase orders using transaction me 29n or not okay so my vendor is this one i'm creating the purchase order or maybe let me completely go out because sometimes it takes time to affect the settings related to the workflow let's try so vendor material quantity okay i'm keeping it minimum because it is less than 5000 which i want to trigger enter and try to save it okay let me open this purchase order that we created just now and if i go to you can see first of all there is no releasing strategy available here but there is a new tab flexible workflow earlier it was showing us releasing strategy okay now it is showing flexible workflow if i click on this flexible workflow you can see it is just giving you the information but inside there is nothing available okay even if you go to transaction me 29n which was the transaction to approve the workflow you can see even here also you are getting this message that purchase order is in approval you can only display you will not be able to make any changes here okay so here also you can see releasing strategies appearing here no this is for the older one i think even if it is a new one then it will not allow you to do anything this is 76 okay you can see here even in this one it is also showing you the flexible workflow nothing else so even if you go to me 29n okay i'm just trying to show you the screen is exactly similar as see this is confusing because it is showing 75 ours is 76 so it is a similar screen of po where you are only able to see the flexible workflow that releasing strategy tab itself is not appearing okay so this means the workflow is now pending with goro 10 okay if goro 10 is having the access of my inbox i'll show you what is my inbox this is all completely fiori based okay so what will happen is you will go to uh, my inbox there is an application called as my inbox okay you can see my inbox for all items this my inbox is an application which will give you the list of all those notifications which are awaiting your approval currently i am logged in with my user id that is the reason i am not able to see any approval pending my uh, approval 
okay but if i log in with the other user id for example if i log in with goro 10 okay let me try although i don't think it will come by default but i'm just trying so goro 10 is our approver 